Ah, ah, massaging my head. It feels good. It's a great way to get the brain thinking, to get it working, get those brain waves going, get full of knowledge and some wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Well, hey kids, it's Pastor Travis, and that's a weird, scary monster face. Ooh. And this is Thursday Stock. <laughs> Do any of you guys out there have friends? If you think you don't, I gotta tell you a little secret. <laughs> Pastor Travis is your friend, that's right. I'm your buddy, I'm your pal, I'm the guy you can chat with, you can talk to, hit me up. You can tell me something on Facebook, you can drop something on the video comment section here. Or if you even see me at church, say, Hey Pastor Travis! And I'll say, hey, what's up little kid? And you'll say, I don't know what you'll say. You'll say something though, I'm sure. And odds are, I'll probably shake your hand really weird. Because that's kind of something that I do. Well, I want to talk a little bit about our friends that aren't necessarily Christians and how we act or how we're actually supposed to act, talk, and be around those people. Let's look at some verses in the scripture. Yeah. Matthew 5, 13 and 14. You are the salt of the earth, but suppose the salt loses its saltiness. How can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything. It will be thrown out. People will walk all over it. You are the light of the world, a city on a hill. Any of you guys ever been stuck in a dark place where you can't see, you can't find your way, you don't know where you're going? <laughs> I bet you all have. Maybe in a cave, or over in a dark corner, or in your room before you flip the lights on and you don't want to trip over something because your room is a mess and you gotta clean up because you want to keep something clean up you're like, I don't know, get it out! <sighs> Well, then you've been in a dark place and you've been in need of a light. If we have friends that don't know God, that don't know Jesus, that don't know the Holy Spirit, that don't know the Word, then they are in a dark place. So how are they going to be able to see God? How are they going to be able to know God? How are they going to be able to find their way? Mm, do you get what I'm saying? Do you hear me? Can you understand? They need light. And where do they find that light? Us! We are the light of the world. God says right there in his word that you, me, we are the light of the world. Those that believe him, those that follow him, those that know him, we are the light of the world. If people are stuck in a dark place, they can't see God, then we need to be able to show them God through our actions, through our words, through the way we treat each other, through the way we treat other people. If we're treating people that don't know God in a terrible way just because they don't know God, huh? that's not bright, that's not wise, that's not the way that God wants us to be. But... If we are treating other people with love, regardless of whether they believe in Jesus or not, then they're going to see something different in us. They're going to see something special. You know what they're going to see in us? They're going to see Jesus. Are you being a good representation of the person that you claim to follow, Jesus Christ? I know I struggle. I don't always give a perfect representation of Jesus, but I'm trying. I do my best. And you know what? If you're trying, you're doing your best, and you're giving everything you have to be a light to those in the darkened world, then you're doing what Jesus has asked you to do. Let's look at another scripture real quick. This is from Colossians 4 verse 5 and 6. Be wise in the way you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let the words you speak always be full of grace. Season them with salt. Then you will know how to answer everyone. It's saying again right here in God's word how important it is to act around people that don't know God, around outsiders. That means people who don't believe Jesus, people that are kind of like outside the circle of God because they're not sure, they don't believe, they don't understand, they're stuck in the darkened world and all they need is a light. Where's the light coming from? You gotta show them that light. <sighs> you may think that Pastor Travis is a little kooky, a little crazy, a little bit maybe too passionate about this Jesus, about God, about this word. Well, let me tell you something. Who does that? If I'm gonna be passionate and excited and on fire about one thing in my life and one thing only, it's gonna be about the one person who gave his life, who sacrificed his life, who gave up everything, a king of kings coming down and being on this earth and being a normal person and then dying for me. If I'm gonna be passionate about anything in my life, that's what I'm going to be passionate about. You guys may be passionate about your favorite sports team. The Patriots. Eh. You may be passionate about your favorite band. Oh, One Direction. Oh. You may be passionate about your favorite television show. NCIS is the best. But all those things are going to fade away. And none of those things are going to bring you the joy, the happiness, the way that Jesus Christ will. So remember, when you're around your friends that don't know God, you have to be a good representation. They may never enter a church. They may never open the Bible. They may never have an opportunity to go and learn about God the way that you do. So you may very well be the only 
only thing that can tell them about God. You may very well be the only thing that's a Bible to them. You may very well be the only thing, the only thing, the only thing that can be a light to these people in a darkened world. Use wisdom when you're out there around your friends that don't know God. Speak with grace. Act accordingly, meaning act the right way. Do the exact same thing around your friends that are Christians because we know that there's a lot of Christians out there that they struggle with this as well. It's not easy trying to live a life as close to perfection as we try it. But you know what? It's so, so worth it. All right, kids, that's all I have for you today. God bless you. Have an awesome week. Love you guys. I will see you next week. <laughs>